Hi, so if you look on the internet, you'll see a ton of projects to do with these things. These are microwave oven transformers. Now, most of the projects are actually high power projects, and I've done quite a few of them. Things like welding machines, uh, hot staplers, that sort of stuff. Um, I wanted to do something slightly different though, and it came to my mind that it should be possible to turn this into a speaker, and that's exactly what I plan on doing. Now, if you have a look, you'll find quite a few videos on how to take these apart. I've done a couple myself. But it, it amounts to two options. One is to saw through that weld line right there and then take off the top section and prise these coils out. That's the preferred option for this particular job. The other one is to saw through this coil carefully, drill it and whack it out to leave you the whole thing in one piece with the big coil in the bottom but we want that big coil, so what you have to do is saw through that. Now you can either use a hacksaw or you can use an angle grinder, but that weld line bead is actually really thin. So once you've sawn through that, this whole thing will just pick off as one piece and that's what you're looking for. Now when you do that, what you'll end up with is this E-shape, this big coil that we picked out, and then a whole load of the top section, which was like that, making an eye shape. Now all we want is a small section of the eye and the big coil. And we need to cut that eye in half. Okay, so you've sawn it in two halves. This bit we want to split into half along the lengthway there. These laminates are actually just held together by a bit of resin. So all you do is take a trimming knife blade or stick it somewhere in the middle and give it a whack with the hammer and it'll separate really easily because it's basically just glue holding those together. Now what we want is half a hacksaw blade. Hacksaw blades are tremendously easy to cut. Stick it in a vise, hit it with a hammer, it's so brittle it'll just snap cleanly in half. And we need to put the hacksaw blade in between the section that we've just split and rejoin it together so that we end up with a piece like that. All you have to do to do that is put a bit of crazy glue on there. Okay, so there's our piece of eye glued to our hacksaw blade. Now we obviously need to fix this into relation. So there's a little bit of our builder's board that I'm going to use as the base. And we need to glue the coil about there. That bit of eye that we cut off about there. And then this bit is going to go in the coil like that so it's actually got a piece of it just over the other eye then here we need to put a bit of something to hold it still and what I'm going to use is this bit of black plastic acrylic and you'll notice I've cut a saw line down there with a hacksaw so that that blade will just fit in to get that blade in just gently tap it in with a hammer Okay, so when we've done that, what we get is this. That's that bit of eye we took from the microwave oven transformer on a hacksaw blade, and it's free to vibrate, so it'll vibrate like that. What we now need to do is glue on the coil and the other bit of the eye. So the coil goes about there. So that that material there we took from the eye is in the coil. This other bit goes just about there, right at the end of that piece of metal. So we glue those down and leave them to dry. Okay, so that's everything together and I've hooked up a six volt battery and if I attach that to the coil, what we get is nothing, which is no real surprise. However, I've got here a, some neodymium magnets and we put a magnet on there in opposite polarity. So if that one is north, And that one is south. And slide those a bit nearer so that they influence that bar. Now if I touch that, we get a strong deflection. And we can use that property to drive a speaker because it deflects in relation to the current that we put in there. So if we put a sine wave in there, we'll get that to vibrate. If we put an acoustic wave in, we should be able to get it to vibrate in line with the acoustic wave. So that is the basic driver. Okay, so that is our speaker driver. Now we need it to drive something. If we actually took a speaker cone, it would work really quite well, but it seems a little bit of a cheat to do that because why not just use the speaker? So what I've got here is a bit of acrylic where I've cut a circular hole in it and I've covered the back with double-sided tape. Now I've got a bit of cellophane. 
If I take that cellophane and glue it onto that, it'll actually make a nice diaphragm. Now it doesn't make a good diaphragm in itself, what you have to do is shrink it, and you shrink it with a hairdryer. So you give it a shrink, it'll go tight as a drum. Now have a listen. Okay, there it is nearly finished. So the driver mechanism, I've glued at right angles to the drum, and then on top of the driver, I've glued a little bit of builder's board with a two millimeter hole in, and I've cut a button with another two millimeter hole, and on there I've put some double-sided tape. That double-sided tape will attach that button to the center of our drum, and we can connect those two holes using a bit of bent Brass. And this is what I'm going to use. I'll bend that, stick it in there, and then the thing is actually ready to test. Now, I used cellophane because I have some. If you don't have some, then actually a drinks wrapper will do just fine. This is just a package uh, from a six-pack. Uh, it is already shrink wrap, so if you attach that to there and heat it, it will shrink as well. Cellophane's nice, but the um, shrink wrap from a drinks pack will do just as well. Okay, that's it. Ready to test. Okay, so here it is, all set up to play, and I'm going to play that song that everybody loves to hate or hates to love, I'm not sure which one it is, but Buddy by Ben Sound, and we'll have a see what kind of noise we get out of that. That's actually pretty awesome. <laughs> so it was a bit tinny, okay, but then it's a bit of stretched cellophane. If we hook this up to a speaker cone, then I'm sure we'd get a much better uh, sound quality out of it. But there you go, a speaker made from a microwave oven transformer. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, and thank you very much for watching.